Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning, and I'm hiking in the morning. It's actually like 6.30, and it's still pitch black out, but it's also sprinkling. But this was right on the trail, like right there. He's moving, but he's moving so slow. So I don't know what kind of snake he is. He doesn't look like he has a rattler, and his head seems narrow, but he's kind of just sitting there. I'm waiting for him to move on, see if we can't zoom in. Aha, uh -huh, he's finally moving. There he is. He's got some markings. What kind of snake you think he is? Eh? He's not coiled up. He's trying to hide. He's right there. Let's see if we can't distract him with my sticks and sneak by. Yep. Yep. Wow. I thought in the morning you wouldn't run into snakes, but he's waiting for the sun to come up and join the water. Anywho... Hi, I'm on the way to the mountain. We might get a good sunrise this morning, so we shall see. Till then, we just see nothing much. Just some darkness. Sky's starting to get light, but I swear. I think Maine must be too close to the North Pole, because I think I, I bet I got some extra daylight, because it's more north. Because I swear, I'm still feeling them two hours and of daylight that I'm missing. So, we shall see you further down the trail. When the sun comes up, uh, hopefully we get a good view. Yeah, it was a little freaky running across that little booger. So, anywho, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Good morning, guys. It's September 18th, Sunday. Good morning, guys. September 18th, morning of, well, almost midday. And we are on the peak of Snowbird. That's Snowbird. Snowbird Mountain. We have uh, they've trimmed the whole forest down here to where it's kind of like just open area. But we have a great view of the Smokies. Check this out. It's our view to the south. And look at that. That is just gorgeous. That's where we came from. Yep. Mount Cameron. And all of the Mount Gaia and so up. And there's a lot of gnats out here too. So just wanted to share with you. And I'll show you some interesting things on down the trail shortly. But I just wanted to share with you this stuff. And hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll share with you anything we see. Hey guys, this is the other side of Snowbird. I didn't want to show you the nautical tower, the aerospace tower because it's just an old tower and everybody films it so i had to get out of the sun this is the other side heading north the mountains we're going to be getting into over here pretty cool pretty cool this is across the way back into the smokies so just wanted to share with you as you can see i had those lips or gnats they blister me up so i gotta run between them and the sun, I run screaming to the forest. So I will show you if we get anything interesting. That's freaking awesome, these views. I can't get enough of them. We'll see you down the trail. Good morning, guys. It's September 20th, and just wanted to show you my sunrise through the trees. The sun hasn't popped up yet, but the colors are starting. And uh, we're on our way to Hot Springs today, North Carolina. Uh, going to be uh, narrowing in where I have less than 10 miles to go in. So I've got like maybe four or five more miles on that. Then I'll be in Hot Springs for the day. And I'll be staying there tomorrow. And then we're going to be moving on to Irwin, Tennessee. Getting uh, right around the corner from my house. I'm excited. I'm excited. My commute's almost over. <laughs> I'm almost home. Uh, I'm going to enjoy hot springs. I'm going to be staying at the Laughing Heart and get some restaurant food in me. There's two good restaurants there and a tavern. So I am looking forward to hot springs. There's supposed to be some hot springs, literally, too. So I'll look into that and see if that's something I might might want to do or not and uh, enjoy my day off. So I just wanted to touch bases with you guys and let you know how everything was going and
go from and check in from there. So thanks, thanks for watching, and I will show you around Hot Springs when we get there, or if we have some good views along the way, a better view of the sunrise since it's still in process. Um, hopefully, I'll share, and we'll see you down the trail. Happy trails! Good morning, guys. It's September twenty second, and this is the Hot Springs sidewalk. We're leaving early in the morning as we got climbing to do today, some miles and thunderstorms this afternoon, and we got a train coming through. <laughs> so, figured I'd show you the town Appalachian Trail goes right through uh, Hot Springs. So, I'll show you a couple sites as long as we can see them, and we shall be seeing the French Broad River today. Should be a pretty cool day today. We'll see you down the trail. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this is an interesting spit, bit about hot springs. That was a German internment camp in World War I. And a health resort since 1800. Pretty cool. Huh. Bit of history I did not know. Oh, just wanted to show you around. We're fixing to leave. There really is more hot springs here. Uh, this place is a resort as well where you can lay in them and get some chillaxation going on there's downtown so to speak there's a tavern a outfitters post office library etc down there and we are heading off into the dark so we'll show you the French Broad River in just a moment uh, well what we can see of it and the stars are nice today. You can see them. They're beautiful. And we are headed to Irwin in a couple days. And then in our backyard. <laughs> We're almost home. We'll talk to you later. Bye. There she is, guys. French Broad River. You can see a little bit of her. The rapids. A lot of people raft this. I'll show you out in the middle of it, see if we can't get a better better view. But there she is. It's on this bridge. You see how big she is. And uh, hopefully we can get a better view. French Broad River feeds into Tennessee and all that other stuff. And <sighs> I think it goes all the way to Chattanooga. Yeah, that's about the best we're going to do. Eh, well, tried. It's pretty cool. So, when it lightens up, if we see anything interesting, I shall share. And we'll see you in a bit. Hey, hello guys. It's still the uh, 20... Shoot, I don't know. Forget the date. Anyway, we are out of Hot Springs and camping at... This is the shelter... An old-fashioned shelter and I just wanted to share it with you this is about 11 point some miles out of hot springs and we're supposed to get some rain as you can see it's getting cloudy <sighs> I want to say this is Laurel Gap shelter but that's not um, oh spring this is a spring gap shelter and uh, there's supposed to be some bears up here. A mama with two cubs and black snake slash rattlesnake. So I don't know. We could be in for a quiet night or a busy night. Anywho, I wanted to share this with you. This is an old sign. This is 282.8 miles. So this is an old before they put in switchbacks. We actually are at 285.9. So I'm almost at 100 miles left almost so i just wanted to share because this is pretty unique i have not seen a sign like this at all on the trail and this is a very old sign this whole thing is original and pretty cool so i wanted to share that with you and we're going to be hunkering in the shelter because it's going to be raining so i wanted to stay dry hopefully this roof will stay dry it's like double laminated so I got my fingers crossed. It's a old shelter, though, so we'll see. It'll be uh, 
pretty interesting we're at a gap so we're up pretty high too so we should have a good good storm tonight and i just threw my stuff down here because i needed to go get water before it started raining so i'm gonna get everything all situated and it's pretty cool this is about as rustic as you can get for a shelter this is one of the originals um, that used to be along the appalachian trail as you can see they did uh it's really old um but they laid the uh wood planks down for each person with a regular post between them so that way it kind of let them know how many people there was to be sleeping here and it's uh five so got a lot of history in here a lot of history i haven't had a chance to look at all the graffiti to see the oldest one but i'm sure there's some some old graffiti here somewhere so i just wanted to share and hopefully we'll be reporting back tomorrow if you see this i made it through the night so we'll we'll see what happens <laughs> well thanks for watching and we'll see you down the trail appreciate it and bye Hey, morning guys it's september 24th and i am at mile marker 300 on the at so i am in double digits now no more triple digits less than 100 miles to go and then i am back home having hot chocolate in front of my fireplace in roan mountain tennessee so i am looking forward to it so today we got bald mountain we've got uh Ridge lines, all kinds of different stuff today. So lots of climbing. Uh, and I should end up at uh, Flint Mountain Shelter. Or Flint Memorial Shelter. Flint something. So I just figured I'd share with you. And then we are on to Irwin after that. And hopefully... Well, tomorrow we'll be staying at Hogback Ridge Shelter because it's going to be raining. And then we'll get up to Bald Mountain. So good views up there, hopefully, for us. Looking forward to it. Last little bit of the trail. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing everybody at home. So, getting excited. Now, we'll talk to you later or if we see something cool down the trail. And fall colors are starting to peek around as well. So we're, we're getting all kinds of stuff changing. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Good morning, guys. It's still September 24th. I just wanted to show you our first view of the day. This is the false top of Big Butt. We got a little more climbing to do before we get to the real one. But if I recall right, there's no views up there. So I just wanted to show you. That's where we were a couple hours ago. And all those mountains in the background. You can see way off into the distance into Tennessee. And yes, that's a rain front coming in. I'm hoping to get to the shelter before it starts coming in and pouring on me. Uh, it's coming a day early. As you can see, it's nice out there on that side. So it's just hitting. So I have a little bit more time, but it looks pretty dark out there. So we'll see what we can do in the next couple hours. And uh, I just figured I'd show you. It's a beautiful meadow up here. <clears throat> They call these balds, but it's the meadow to me. And we'll show you the other one as we get to it. Happy trails, and thanks for watching. We'll show you more down the trail. Good morning, guys. It's September 25th, Sunday, and we are getting our sunrise. It's our first view of the day. Whew, I rushed up here to get it. So you can see the colors. Colors are trying to come in for us. It's a golden, golden glow. It just doesn't do it justice. There we go. I can get it in there a little bit. But it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's a view of what we'll be hiking later today. Whew. We've got rain coming in this afternoon. So I'm rushing to get to my shelter early so i can miss it if i'm able to and uh so i started way early this morning got up at two so i've been hiking for a while and we'll be uh at hogback ridge shelter hopefully i'll have time to get water and everything before the storm comes in 
So we shall see. Anywho, I just wanted to share this lovely view with you. And if I get any more, I will share and get you get you took care of. Thanks for watching and take care.